Explain. All right, guys. So oversimplified version of nitrogen retention. Once again, oversimplified. Not to confuse any of you guys. If you want more details, I'll make a separate video explaining all the little, you know, fancy shit. Anyway, there goes the cell. Once again, protein synthesis is taking place. Right. Good job. Your body's trying to synthesize protein. Right. That's all it means. Protein synthesis. Your body's synthesizing proteins to build muscle. Right. So there goes the nitrogen I mentioned earlier. Obviously, it's it's bound to. It's actually it's not just nitrogen floating around. Right. It's, it's in an amino acid, whatever. So there goes the cell. The muscle cell right here, right? The nitrogen is going in. What testosterone does, steroids, you know, sounds familiar to a lot of you fuckers. What it does is it helps the cell retain nitrogen, right? I explained in many, many, many fucking videos. So once amino acids are transported to the cell, testosterone, let's say without testosterone, right? Nitrogen is, you know, amino acids going to the cell. Some is, you know, some are inside being synthesized, some are being wasted. I put other shit, right? It's going to... Uh, urea uh, being useful. Amino acids can be used for many different things, right? You know, gluconeogenesis, uh, blah blah. Uh, but and the funny thing is, people forget that your body doesn't just have muscle tissue; it has a lot of different tissue that also needs protein. So, that, so anyway, there goes the muscle cell, and the nitrogen is being transported there, right? In amino acids. With testosterone, instead of having three, once again, I'm making up these numbers to simplify. Shit. Instead of having just three in here and the rest being wasted going through other shit, testosterone helps the same cell have more of these bitches. You see this shit? More nitrogen allowed to be concentrated within the cell. And what does that do? That increases protein synthesis, that speeds our protein synthesis. So more is being used, less is being wasted through, towards other shit. So what do you happen? So, so what happens? So what happens to you? You end up looking like Phil Heath and shit, right? The muscle keeps growing and growing and growing and growing. That's why I told you in another video, right? If your body can synthesize three grams of protein, theoretically, right? Just three grams of protein every single day for muscle building on top of what you already have, you'll have a pound of muscle every single month. That's 12 pounds of muscle at the end of the year. So if you eat a piece of chicken, let's say it's a piece of chicken, and this is, uh, uh, let's say 20 grams of protein, right? Chicken, 20, 23 grams of protein. If your body can use just three grams out of that protein, right? And synthesize it for new, additional muscle tissue every single day, at the end of the month, you have a pound of muscle. So that tells you guys that at the end, for, for the last three, four, five months, if you haven't been putting on a pound of pure muscle, not fat or whatever, water weight, if you haven't been putting on a pound of pure muscle every month, it simply means that that chicken breast you're eating, not even three grams is going towards the synthesizing of new muscle tissue and keeping it there. Food for thought. A lot of people don't think about shit like that. So there has to be ways to increase nitrogen retention, which I'm going to get to later. And that's why people that take steroids can have a shitty diet. And still build a lot of muscle because the body only needs such a small amount of, of protein to synthesize new, uh, new muscle tissue. Just think, think about it. Three grams for a pound at the end of the month. Six grams for two pounds. And we eat so much protein. Where is all that protein going? Other shit. All right. Let's get ready to the next video. Yeah, come on, man. That's just anyway, a lazy person. I still am. And I believe that lazy people have the most potential out of every human being on the planet. In fact, the reason why we're so lazy is because we just... We, we, believe it or not, 